this week. Jaden Smith launches a vegan food truck for the homeless. Vegan U.S. women's soccer team co-captain Alex Morgan celebrates the World Cup victory. Vegan real dairy ice cream made from cow's milk launches online. Miley Cyrus revealed that she won't have kids until we save the planet. And plant-based athlete Novak Djokovic wins the Wimbledon final. All that and more on Live Kindly's Weekly Vegan News. Jaden Smith has launched a vegan food truck to feed the homeless. The 21-year-old entrepreneur opened the food truck, named I Love You Restaurant in LA's Skid Row. The area has one of the largest populations of homeless people in the United States. A video on the I Love You Restaurant's Instagram account showed a long line of people waiting outside. Servers handed out vegan bowls of food filled with dark leafy greens, sweet potato, black beans, and grains. People have praised Smith's venture, and many have already offered to volunteer. Smith posted on his Instagram about the new venture. He said, I Love You Restaurant is a movement that is all about giving people what they deserve, healthy, vegan food for free. He added, keep a lookout because this is the first of many. Vegan cyclist Abdullah Zainab has set a new record and he did it on a diet of mostly hash browns. Zainab rode in the Trans Am bike race last month. The race is an annual ultra cycling event that takes the rider across the United States, from Astoria in Oregon to Yorktown in Virginia. The event is a test of mental and physical endurance. I'm only capable of performing at my best when the desire to keep battling and sustain that lies within that exact moment within myself. At 6,800 kilometers, it's almost twice as long as this year's Tour de France. Matt Golson of Barn Door Cycling had a chance to catch up with Zainab. You're like literally a day ahead? I think so, yeah. Are you setting records? I don't know, man. Like, I, I, I flip between wanting to and then just being like, oh, I just want to make it, eh? Riders must be completely self-sufficient, sourcing food and shelter on their own. Zainab relied on feeding himself the diner staple hash browns. He ate more than 100 throughout the race. The cyclist told Liv kindly, once I realized they sold these hash browns at all the diners, that was my go-to. They sat well in my stomach and provided me with what I needed. Zainab completed the race in a record 16 days, 9 hours, and 56 minutes, finishing first out of 74 cyclists. Coming up, vegan U.S. women's soccer co-captain Alex Morgan celebrates World Cup victory. Terminator star Arnold Schwarzenegger doesn't eat meat anymore. The actor and former Mr. Universe features in the highly anticipated vegan documentary The Game Changers. He co-produced the film, which was directed by Academy Award winner Louis Cihoyos. Schwarzenegger is known for his muscly, chiseled physique. Throughout the 1970s, he competed in bodybuilding competitions before moving into films and then politics. Now that the former bodybuilder has stopped eating meat, He's using his platform to encourage others to do the same for their health and the health of the planet. He says in the Game Changers trailer. I ate a lot of meat. They showed us commercials. Steak, that's what a man eats. Selling that idea that real men eat meat. Serious man food. But you got to understand that's marketing. That's not based on reality. Vegan U.S. women's soccer team co-captain Alex Morgan has celebrated the World Cup victory. The team clinched its fourth World Cup title earlier this month at the Stade de Lyon, defeating the Netherlands in a 2-0 victory. Morgan celebrated the victory on Instagram. She posted a picture of herself kissing the World Cup trophy. I think I'm in love, Morgan wrote on her post. As well as soccer, Morgan is also passionate about animal rights. She told Reuters earlier this year that she spends her philanthropic time and money on supporting children and animals. She told the international news organization, it didn't feel fair to have a dog I adore and yet eat meat all the time. Coming up, plant-based athlete Novak Djokovic wins the Wimbledon final. You can now buy real vegan dairy ice cream made from milk. Food tech startup Perfect Day has launched its vegan ice cream online. It is said to deliver the same flavor and texture as its dairy-based counterpart. It uses less water, less energy, less land, and emits significantly fewer greenhouse gases than traditional dairy. Perfect Day founders, biochemists, and vegans Ryan Pandya and Perumal Gandhi use flora fermentation to make milk without the cow.
Unlike cell-based meat, where real meat is grown from animal cells, the end result here is completely vegan as it biomimics dairy. Perfect Day also intends to create dairy-free milk, yogurt, and cheese. Pandya said in a statement, what we're doing here is completely new to the world. Vegan musician and activist Miley Cyrus refuses to have children until the planet is saved. In a recent interview with Elle magazine, the Black Mirror star spoke out about humanity's exploitation of the Earth's resources. She also spoke about her feelings on society's treatment of women. She said, We've been doing the same thing to the Earth that we do to women. We just take and take and expect it to keep producing. And it's exhausted. It can't produce. She added, until I feel my kid would live on an earth with fish in the water, I'm not bringing in another person to deal with that. The pop star is passionate about reproductive rights. She previously collaborated with Marc Jacobs on a limited edition hoodie where 100% of the proceeds went to Planned Parenthood. Plant-based tennis star Novak Djokovic has secured his fifth men's single Wimbledon victory. The grueling match against Roger Federer, which took five hours, has been described as one of the most entertaining in tennis history. It was probably the, the most demanding, mentally most demanding match I have, was ever part of. Uh, I, I had most physically demanding match against Nadal in finals of Australia that went almost six hours. But mentally this was, uh, this was a different level. Djokovic told reporters after the match, most of the match I was on the back foot actually. I was defending. Federer was dictating the play. I just tried to fight and find a way when it mattered the most. The tennis star likes to stay away from labels on his diet, but he has eaten plant-based foods for a number of years now. He said in a recent interview, I do eat plant-based. I think that's one of the reasons why I recover well. I don't have allergies that I used to have anymore. Djokovic will be featured in James Cameron's upcoming documentary, The Game Changers. Europe is in the middle of a plant-based boom. According to a recent study, 10% of Europeans don't eat any meat. That amounts to 75 million Europeans who have adopted a predominantly plant-based diet. In France, sales of vegan food increased 24% between 2018 and 2019. And last year, a study found that 30% of Swedish millennials are eating more plant-based food for health and sustainability reasons. This also rings true in Switzerland where a quarter of a million people have adopted a vegan diet for both ethical and environmental reasons. And the UK continues to lead the trend with more than 3.5 million vegans. That's it for today. How do you feel about consciously living child-free for environmental reasons? What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments. Remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell. We'll see you again next week for Live Kindly's weekly vegan news.